A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul wa Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdak al Ajeez, al Da'if, al Miskeen, al Uzzar, al Jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And alhamdulillah that the new year has come and a new opportunity for the pilgrim, pilgrimage towards the Divine the Presence. That uh, every year Allah gets and grants the gift of life to worship and in this worshipness Allah's immense blessings and grace is to put us on a path of spirituality in the Naqshbandi way and these realities of the Muhammadan reality. And it's a journey and a path and if people don't know where they came from they have absolutely no idea where they're going. So this becomes what we write in our room on a post-it note. The one whom doesn't know where he came from has absolutely no idea where he's going. Like they teach you the one who doesn't know history or doesn't study the past, doesn't know anything of the future because it's a perpetual circle these realities. And imagine if somebody just put you on the middle of a highway, took away all your memory and said, go. You say, but I, where, where am I going? Say, so go that way. And they make up within their heart that, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going towards Allah. And shaitan comes and plays with them that eventually they think they're going to reach a place in which they're going to be with Allah, share a space with Allah, occupy an understanding of an image of Allah So you can imagine that on the physical how confusing that would be just to put somewhere and say, just go. We don't know where we came, where am I going from and going to. And Allah's grace and immense rahmah is when He guides towards the tariqahs. And alhamdulillah Naqshbaniyatul Aliyah is the soul of all tariqahs. The teaching and they all should be teaching if they… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. reach to the Muhammadan haqqaiq, that the teaching the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah so that you understand this is the light you came from because you can't make a, a gross misunderstanding and think that you came from Allah and that you're going to Allah, then Allah has a partner with you sharing space and breath and air and existence when Allah is beyond these oceans of understanding and existence. Allah has no place, no time, no where. So awliyaullah come into our lives and taught that you are from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah the ocean of creation. That's huge then. But people whom even raised amongst the awliya, they move so fast in every aspect that they don't come back to think, what Mawlana Shaykh was teaching? Why to say something like that? So the people would stop and think that we're from Muhammadun Rasulullah Then when they stop and they ponder these realities, 
immensity of what can open is their potential. It sets our course very clear, means that if my origin is Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah placed me upon this earth to find my reality. So then my reality exists within Muhammadun Rasulullah And that's why Allah describing for that individual, don't worry, I'm not in the heavens, I'm not on earth, I'm in the heart of my believer. This is an ancient expression from Allah before anything was created Allah is giving this understanding. That the only heart at that time was the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in which Allah reflection exists within that reality because it's the power of that reality. The nucleus of the qalb and the center of power of Sayyidina Muhammad which is the Holy Qur'an, not created. Spoken word of Allah means the, the word of power, the tongue of power from the Divinely Presence is the energy and the source of all sound and vibration because they found a tongue like a brain within the heart. And they found within the cells of the heart it has its own thought process. Like an aqal within the cells of the heart and this is just the, the imitated creation, the reality of light is something far more superior in its understanding. But even if they look to their sciences Allah's haqqaiqs will match. That through that heart Allah's power is located powering the entire creation. When we know that we are from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah our objective is to find our way back home, back to Muhammadun Rasulullah And along the way we got distracted because shaitan's goal is to make you forget where you came from so that you don't know where you're going to. Created idolatry, satanism, every falsehood imaginable that you're not going back to. Everyone, Rabbil Alameen wa Rabbil Kafireen. Rabbul Mu'mineen all has to come back to Rabbul Alameen. The one who governs over all that creation. So it means all creation within that reality. This is all the planets, all the universes, all the galaxies. Every book around you, every bookshelf around you, every microphone, animate and inanimate objects all come from this one source of light, everything, nothing excluded from it. Into the heavens all the angels are made from Muhammadun Rasulullah all the prophets are made from Muhammadun Rasulullah All the souls are made from Muhammadun Rasulullah Abu Arwah. That from this ocean of light like a bakery you make a big pot of dough and Allah takes from that and makes all these souls. 
doesn't make a new one each time and make it all individual because they come from a Ruh al-Wahid, fourth surah verse 1 that we created this creation from one so a Ruh al-Wahid. And from it we created its pairs and, and different forms. So it's like a big piece of dough in which the one whom fashions and creates takes all of them out from this Muhammadun Rasulullah Every angel, the Kaaba, Bayt al-Mahmur, the holy throne of Allah Al-Arsh al-Majeed. Lahul Mahfuz, anything you can think of is created from Muhammadun Rasulullah Its power Allah gives to us, so all this reality and all this creation has to be powered by a zikr and Allah gives to us so it's equals. Allah zikr, Allah zikr in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That Allah's salawat is powering because all of this is from Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Prophet can sustain it. It's made from Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but sustained and powered by Allah And Allah and His angels are continuously making this durood sharif and all the variations of durood sharif that every angel coming into existence have different durood sharifs and different powers and different lights are being dressed upon this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah This becomes an immense ocean of power. When we understand where we came from then we understand the direction in which to go back. The worshipness is for Allah Why? Because where we came from is the only one whom worships Allah In that one soul that everything exists. If you take yourself like you're a cell within your body, if the body of our reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah he is the only one praying to Allah because you are inside and insignificant. The cells within your body is not the, the importance, the importance is that you make your salah and as a result of you making the salah all the cells are moving with you in ibadah and worshipness. Allah doesn't say, oh well the body is not praying but the cells are, means then the true worshipness through this universal being is Muhammadun Rasulullah is the servant of Allah the one whom prayer counts to Allah and everything that we do is by imitation. So then awliya come into our life and teach us that you're from this reality and your life is to go back to that reality, to find where is it and where are you located within this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah When they taught us this, our entire objective was then to enter the heart of Prophet that, I don't know Ya Rabbi where you created me from in this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah but grant me a himma and a love for Sayyidina Muhammad that with all my zeal and all my ishq I try my best to enter into his holy heart and reside within his holy heart and that if that was not my station then to grant me that station. 
by himma and zeal and by the good deeds and ishq and muhabbat that only Allah inspire within our hearts. So you aim always for the best, you aim always for the highest and that's why they come into our lives and they don't teach a lesser reality, they don't waste time on lesser objectives, is shoot for the best. Means make your duru the sharif, do your milad al Nabi We described before that the celebration of the Mawlud is the celebration of that light coming into existence from pre-eternity and all eternity. Not just the birth upon this small earth, but when Allah decided, I'm a hidden treasure and I want to be known. And at that moment Allah brought creation into existence to be known and that's the birth of the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah And when we celebrate the Mawlud and celebrate the Milad and celebrate the life and the opening of that reality as if Allah grant us that light within our heart, grant us that opportunity Ya Rabbi that you want it to be known with this magnificent treasure that Ya Rabbi let your heart, let my heart to know you and to love you means open up that light within my heart because this light of Prophet allows us to know Allah because everyone else is a very big disappointment. Pious, non-pious people, good people, bad people, whatever you think of people you will be disappointed. They are nowhere close to the reality of Allah But the one whom you can never be disappointed in is Rasulul Kareem And that's why pious people they were taught and their students were taught that your focus and the compass is Muhammadun Rasulullah means direct people to the sun, to the light. And they should never be disappointed, anyone who gains the love of Prophet and then through their good deeds and their ishq and their, their himma, their khidmat, their, their service, they gain the nearness of that reality. See because Rasulul Kareem the perfected soul greets all whom love him There's immensity, immensity. You can be disappointed with many people and that's why many broken people they flee to Medina to Munawar because Allah gave us the physical presence of Prophet And those who make their tafakkur and contemplation Allah gave their spiritual door. They go to the door in which you will never be disappointed. And the shaykhs all they have to teach is this love and how to gain access to this door. And if they lead the believer to the door and that door should open into his holy presence, the light and the love that emanates within the heart, you have found the reflection of Allah because through His kindness reflects the love of Allah Through His oceans of generosity is the generosity of Allah And that when His nazar is upon you, lifting you, dressing you, praying for your forgiveness, you find the love of Allah because of that tenderness of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's exactly what Allah wanted. From ancient teaching, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. Don't come to me without coming to the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah. That will wash us, will prepare us, will cleanse us. Begin to perfect us and wipe away imperfections in a way that only He knows and then present us pure and purified to the presence of Allah
in which Allah has ridden satisfaction and grants that soul yuhibbukumullah. That Allah's love upon your soul, Allah's qafoor and forgiveness upon your soul because Sayyidina Muhammad has presented you to my Divinely Presence. This becomes the immensity of the path. This is where we come from. All those who wish to journey on this path to reach to Allah's satisfaction through the immensity of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad each vying for an opportunity to enter his holy, holy heart by their good deeds, their good actions. And Mawlana Shaykh described like the gates of paradise is like an analogy for the heart of Prophet His heart of Prophet is as wide as you can imagine. It's not narrow like these corrupt believers believe. Means the heart and the rahmah of Sayyidina Muhammad is so widely immense that it's not one or two that can get through but all whom direct their face towards that reality through their durood, through their salawat, through their good deeds, good character. What was the nut that we came up with the good character a month ago? That all the nut described. It was not my, my, my actions that got me these high stations. Aga, the nut and she says the, the, the high ones, I don't know how I got here. It was not my, my deeds that got me here but it was this character and good character that gets us to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad He's not impressed by our actions, he's not impressed by our qirat, he's not impressed about how you say Allah and stretch the A, he's not impressed that you pray four degrees this way or five degrees that way. This is the silliness and absurdity of somebody who has a very small head and limited capacity within their heart to think that Allah is actually watching that. That Prophet inspiring with you, why you don't struggle for something greater? Fight your bad character, not the fixing your carpet five degrees this way and that way but fix your heart, fix your tongue, fix your actions, be straight and honest. And as a result this door begins to open to the presence of Prophet and the true guides inspiring people put your faith in action, that gain his nazar, go out and do the good deeds, do the khidmat, do the service, do the charity, do these actions so that the, the, the king of all creation his holy nazar be upon you. If his nazar should hit you and an ayat comes your soul is uplifted. When people say, oh Shaykh why are you crying, you have problems, how can we help your problems? It'd be silly people. Shaykh's not crying from problems, he's crying from the inayat of Allah The Prophet if he look to the association everybody will melt because of the, the rahmah and the mercy that comes from that gaze and the uplifting of the gaze and the intercession of his holy gaze that if that gaze comes and the tears of people flow become the intercession of the association. They say one drop from a believer's eyes puts out the entire fire of Jahannam. So everything that being done is for this anayat, for this annihilation and nazar from Allah but for Allah to look at you means that the direction of the face of Prophet must be gazing upon you because that's the hadith in which Prophet's face appears and as a result Allah is saying, I see you through his eyes, I hear you through his hearts and I'm going to speak to you through his tongue. 
And this is the highest grace that can come from Allah upon this dunya. So they're teaching, this is where we come from in this month of Muharram and the beginning of our movement and pilgrimage to the Divinely Presence that begin with an understanding that we come from this light and our journey is back into that light, into that reality. We pray that Allah give us a zeal and, and goodness within ourselves to accomplish that and every opportunity that Allah gives, <coughs> gives the opportunity for all of these charities, these waters, these foods, these orphanages, these programs, these books, these websites, these apps, all of these are opportunities for us to achieve what Allah wants to grant us of these achievements. We pray that Allah inspire us in which to take from these blessings and achieve what Allah wants us to achieve. After events happen it's difficult to come back and say, now I want to do it Ya Rabbi, now I want to, to achieve these realities. Allah gives these opportunities and those whom they achieve this love in their heart from Allah they quickly reach out to achieve these blessings. We pray that Allah inspires towards these goodness in these 10 days and in this month preparing for Milad al Nabi preparing for Ashura and Ashanura and the opening of lights in which every nation was forgiven on Ashura. And that Allah grant us forgiveness through our ears, forgiveness through our eyes, forgiveness through our breath, forgiveness through our tongue, forgiveness through our hands and forgiveness through our feet and every action that we move towards His Divinely Presence. For the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad his holy Ahlul Bayt and holy companions. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifum wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.